Hello everyone, Dennis here at the Federation Shipyard coming to you with another update on the Polar Lights 1350 scale USS Enterprise refit. Alright, everything is all glued together now. I've tested all the lights, everything works. What I'm going to be doing now is uh, putting the putty to fill in the seam here and, uh, and that because it's out here at the bottom. It's separated just a little bit and you can't get it together anymore to hold it. And then I'll be finishing the put, uh, putty work up here in the front under the neck and right about here too so it'll take just a little bit and then I'll get this thing reprimed and painted plus I still have to do the, uh, the air locks right here on the sides yet I just got the photo lock uh, photo etch parts in them got the wires just hanging up right now so right there so and this is the little gap I was telling you about you can see it right here in the end here. I'm trying to get it so it focuses. There we go. So I'll get that taken care of and I'll come back and show it to you. Hold on. Alright everybody, back. Um, what I've been doing is I got the I sanded it and I um, put in the putty. And then I sanded it again and then I primed it. And now I found out where all the last little bit of the nicks are and such on the neck here in different little areas like right here um, there was a little spot right here that I had to fill in again and I resanded it and back here there was a couple of paper along the neck that's been resanded so now all I gotta do now is put uh, another primer coat on because you can see the no longer there are the brass color these are getting turning white now so I'll get this taken care of this last coat should take care of it. I'll come back and show it to you. And the putty, in case you're wondering what I've been using, is this Vallejo's uh, plastic putty. It's water based, so that way um, it's easier to move. You just take a q tip and uh, after you put it on, you dip the q tip in a little bit of water so that way it'll um, you can spread it around easy. Though it's water soluble, it's gonna, when it dries, it's going to shrink and it's going to end up, you'll have to, have to do it again more than likely, unless it's really small. So, all right, that's the little update right for now. I'll be right back when I get it finished. When I get the uh, primer coat on it. Okay, guys, I just want to show you that I got it all sanded, and re uh, primed, and painted. Now I just got to put the uh, other colors on the neck here, like the, I think it's uh, duck egg blue. I think so I just got to look into that and make sure. But I've got it. Uh, all the seams are gone in it now. I'd show you the other side, but uh, I just put another little touch up on the paint on there. There's one thing here on the back that I got to do. I have to rescribe that uh, line that goes across the back of the neck. So, just want to give you a quick update there and let you see it. And be back in a few. All right, guys, I want to give you a better look at it now since it's all dry everything here's where I gotta do a little bit of scribing here here in the back see if I can zoom in on that for you it's the wrong way there we go right here I lost a little bit of the line that goes across the back here so I just gotta rescribe that it shouldn't take too long but right now I'm gonna do a light test to make sure there's no bleeding coming through the seams or the, where the seams were you zoom back out So uh, here we go. Let's see what happens here. All right. Put a shadow over it so we can see. No light coming through. That's good. And then on the front. Nope. No light coming through. Making sure here. Yep. No light. That's good. All right. So now what we got to do is uh, get it taped off and paint this piece here on the back. And like I said, rescribe that back here and paint the front here on the front a little bit. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to do that now or if I'm going to wait till I get the neck on the hull. 
in the secondary hole. I might just wait till I get the neck on the secondary hole to do that. So that way everything will match up. So, alright. And as soon as I get this thing ready to go in the secondary hole, I'll come back and show it to you. Be back in a few. Alright, guys, I'm back. What I'm doing now is uh, getting the secondary hull ready to get the um, neck mounted to it. What I've been working on here is the that seam that goes right here, getting rid of that, and I'll have to rescribe this line through here that goes around. And there's a little bit of touch up right here that I'm going to have to do yet. Let's see if I can zoom in on it so you can see. Yeah, right there. Uh, that was part of the seam that went like the head that right through here. I'm going to describe, like I said, this in here right here. But uh, other than that's doing good, I'll have to give it another coat. Because uh, you can see the, oops, the camera over there, sorry. You can see the darkness in through the areas right through here of where the, actually the, the, prim, the, the dark primer that I put to help light blocking is coming through. So that's no big deal. Another coat that'll take care of, be taken care of. I'll do some little scrapping. I'm going to have to put some um, some putty in here up to, up to like this point here and then some here in the back because I want it to look more like these lines here not so deep up here and then I get the neck mounted I'm going to have to use for these holes here I have to drill these out a little more and I'll have to move them back this way into the inner part because you don't want to bring them up this way because you'll end up coming past the neck and they'll, they'll be showing and you don't want that. I'll have to make this hole a little bigger for the to get the uh, wires up through there. And let's see, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, but the neck is just about ready to go on. And I'll be getting that on hopefully within this next week. And I'll be back to show it to you and give some more updates and show you how far I am. But uh, until then, uh, I guess this is going to be uh, the end of this update. So uh, just keep doing what you do best. Keep building those models. Have fun doing it. Um, if you have any questions uh, or comments, leave them below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in about a week or so. Have a good one.